with your feet planted firmly in the NFL community and also the college community and the scouting community all overall, who are talent evaluators talking about at the collegiate level right now through just a couple weeks into the season? Yeah, I was talking to an executive with a team that's been out on a, on a scouting trip. He's been all over, seen a bunch of good players. I said, tell me, who are, who are the top guys? Just give me some guys. I want to, I'm starting to watch some guys. Give me some names. And he just said, well... Uh, the Clemson defensive line, the Ohio State defensive line, and the Auburn defensive line. I go, okay, uh, give me some numbers. Like, which guys? He goes, all of them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, there you go. Good place to start. All of yeah, them. Yeah, it, it's huh? going to wow. be a loaded draft for defensive linemen. So, hey, maybe maybe when uh, when Oakland gets a chance and they end up having two top ten picks and they come away with two of these guys that are on right. the cheap, sure. maybe Gruden will have the last laugh. Because that's where it's all at. Is Nick Bose is the one, oh, right? He's a freak. He man. just got hurt. I mean, he's gonna. Yeah, have I don't know how long he's gonna be out, but I've seen enough. I mean, I I watched him over the summer, and he's he's one of those guys where it doesn't matter the draft class. He's yeah. he's up there. So he'll you. I mean, he's special. We can install him potentially as oh. the, pencil him in as the number one overall pick in Nashville next year. Well, we'll see. Quarterbacks always move the needle so who, if you who, need a quarterback. Well, which ones do you think could move the needle? Well, uh, Herbert's really interesting from Oregon. He's one to keep an eye on. Who's just huge. I mean, I saw him uh, before the season started this year. He's about thirty pounds heavier than he was the year before. I mean, he looks physically like a Josh Allen mm -hmm. uh, type guy. So. Uh, he's interesting. I love Will Greer uh, when I studied him. Uh, at West Virginia is a good player. You've mm -hmm. got Stidham at Auburn, who's a good player. Drew Locke's having a great year. They've got a big game this week, uh, a chance for him to make a statement. If he goes up against that Georgia defense and carves them up, we'll be talking a lot about him. And um, how good is Tua? I mean, we had oh. we had Trent Dilfer on on Monday, and, you know, he's known him since he was oh, in yeah. high school. And he, he's been pounding the table for Tua for quite some time. He says he's the most special player he's ever seen. Them in terms of throwing the football as well, most gifted. And as he said, he might he might not lose a game in college. I mean, because of where he is. Yeah. How good is he? You know, I I'm trying to be careful on, you know, hyperbole with a guy. He's just a sophomore. Okay. He's still got to grow and learn and develop all that kind of stuff. Right. But I honestly think he's a he's not he's not only a left-handed Russell Wilson, he's a better version of Russell Wilson that's just left-handed. I mean, that's that's what he can be. I mean, he's outstanding. Just the instincts, the natural feel, the pocket movement. He throws a beautiful ball. I mean, it's just got so much spin. It's so pretty. And the kid, I mean, you saw it. He takes the sack in the championship game last year, and you're like, uh-oh, there it, it is. He's right. First crack at it, that, they're done. What a dumb, and he just threw the game-winning touchdown. Uh, he just responded just like that. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.